I'm interested in, in the change in Britain, especially from being a, an industrial nation, an industrial culture, to being a post-industrial culture. In a way, that is the story of the late 20th century for the UK, how we managed to do this. Was it a success? Was it a failure? What did it look like? How did people behave? What were the tensions? <laughs> photographs of women who worked in the iron, iron works in Wales, these incredible photographs of these women. Well, there's a device that's used on employees uh, who work for Amazon and similar companies, it's a stock control device that they wear and it means that they're being tracked when they're working and their productivity is being measured all the time. Uh, there's a banner which is a text from someone was sent on the morning they thought they were going to be working on a, on a, like a day labouring work contract, which we call zero hours, which means you have no rights, but you can be called to work at any time. And it's a message sent saying, you won't be working this day. And what was interesting was the wording is not correct English. So they didn't even have the sort of respect for this person to send them a, a message that made sense. Um, but it's also the way basically saying you have a day off today, but it actually means you're not working. So you won't be earning any money. So it's not a day off really, it's not a holiday. It's actually a problem. There are some songs that were written in the Victorian era and sung in the streets and sold and sung in the streets. And when you read these uh, songs, read the lyrics, they're very explicit about what was happening. They're quite funny, some of them, but they do give you an impression of what life was like then uh, for, for people, but also the, the kind of things that people were sharing in terms of culture and what, what they thought they could sing about. So for example, there's a song called A Prophecy of 1973, which was written in 1873, and it's quite witty and funny, and it's, it's anti-church, anti-state, anti-police. And finally, there's a, a jukebox that plays sounds of factories, industrial sounds basically from around Britain. And I call it Factory Records because there's a very famous record label in the UK called Factory Records. And I thought, well, actually, this really is Factory Records. These records are literally from factories. So it was a little bit of a play on words about Britain and um, post-punk music in Britain as well. This is from the height of the Industrial Revolution in Britain, a lot of this material. Mid-19th century Britain. And um, well, it tells us about the culture. Of, of the times. What it tells us about today is that probably things are better today. But having said that, these sorts of conditions for like these women here probably still exist somewhere in the world, but not in Europe. So if you went to China or India, you might see this sort of thing happening, possibly. But also when we consider this hand and also the banner, that also is a indication of the how how work still is something that is quite precarious and not guaranteed for a lot of people. 